Hey guys, I'm just going to give you a little brief tour of uh, this new controller I've been working on. This particular one is called the Storm X and it's based on the PCA9685 16 channel PWM driver and of course it's Arduino compatible. Uh, right now I don't have the power supply on so obviously there's nothing coming out of the LEDs and when I do turn it on, those LEDs will be powered by this uh, set of six LM3409 drivers. It's kind of hacked together right now. I apologize for that. So, taking a look at the controller right now, it's in day mode. And by pressing down on the button here, we can toggle. Let me turn the gain down a bit here. It seems to be too bright for the camera to focus properly. We can toggle between manual mode, and you can see we can adjust the brightness out of 12 bits of res resolution, 4096 different brightness settings, and we can go to dark mode, off, and this is the automatic mode. By doing a long press, you go into setup where you can set the PWM for each individually, each of the 16 channels. Right now, they're just kind of at minimal settings here, except for channel 1, which is full blast. And there's, of course, the equivalent for night. And then sunrise mode, you can toggle between manual and auto. Right now, it's on auto, which means that based on your geographic location, it will calculate the proper time for sunrise and sunset. So here on the west coast in San Francisco, it tells me that the sunrise will happen at 6.20 a.m. and sunset at about 8 p.m. And of course there's a ramp time for how long you want sunset and sunrise to take and you can have individual delays for each of the channels so that you can have uh, just uh, however you like it. And then clouds, let's go ahead and turn the off the clouds for now. And you can cluster the channels. Because we have 16 different channels here, you might have more than one, uh, for example, more than one pendant light that has individual channels and you like those to flash independently. So you can set up cloud channels. We have lightning mode. Let's turn that off for now. Uh, and then this is where you set your geographic location so that you get the proper automatic sunrise and sunset calculations clock of course and exit. So let's just go to manual here. I'm going to turn it all the way down. All the way down. There's so many settings that it does take a while to scroll through all of them. And let's go ahead and turn on the power supply. Since we're at zero, nothing happens. But as, as I ramp up a bit, you'll start to see the LEDs peek in. There we go. So, see how dim they are. They're super dim. Super dim. Even 11 out of 4, 9, 6. And then we can just crank, crank, crank. And this is just 840, about, about a quarter, 20% you know, of the way through. And going all the way. This is maxed out. I'm going to turn the gain down so that we can see these legs properly. And I'm going to go into day mode. So now this is like to see some lightning so let's turn on the clouds let's go to high in the clouds and on for lightning and we should start to see some clouds coming and let's see some lightning oh it's on the end of let's go to demo
Oh, there's some lightning. And then lightning flashes are correlated with the clouds. So you will see that as a cloud comes across the sky, it will trigger some lightning. Apologize for the weight. We should have probably tuned down or tuned up the frequency. We can see the cloud and then some flashes around. And the cloud constants or the cloud variables are randomly generated, as are the lightning. So how many flashes, how long the cloud is, how quickly it ramps, etc. etc. I hope you enjoyed this video of the Storm X PWM LED controller. Thanks.